Okay. So the last step in our um, rough draft is going to be framing our conclusion. And so as we start thinking about our conclusion, our conclusion, an easy way to think about the conclusion is that it's the intro and reverse, right? So um, we were, you know, we, we invited our audience in, we identified who that audience was by engaging them with something meaningful. Then we described the context of what we were talking about, our topic as a whole, and then we, uh, we funnel them into our essay through our thesis. We told them, here's what I think, and here's what we're gonna be reading over the next few pages. Um, and then you spend your whole essay telling them that thing, right? You spend your entire essay telling them what you think is important and giving topics that you think are valid and interesting, and then you give them ways to think about um, some of their ideas, some of your ideas, excuse me, and some, uh, some citations and supports. In your conclusion, what you're doing is you are sending them, you're reminding them of what you told them, and you're sending them back out into the world with these new sets of ideas. And so, you know, really, from a broad view, it's like the intro is telling them what you're going to tell them. And then the essay is telling them that thing. And then the conclusion is reminding them of what you told them. And so there's three parts, just like the intro has three parts, the conclusion has three parts. Um, but it's in reverse. So you start with a restatement of your thesis in a new way. And so this shouldn't be your thesis verbatim. What you should do is on a new document or, or you know, on a new page of your document, somewhere where you can't see what you've already written, you should write what you think you said. You should write the point that you think you made throughout this whole essay. And then you should hold that up to your initial thesis and see how close they are. And in some cases, it's a good idea to swap those two, right? To take the thesis you wrote at the end and put it at the top, because typically it's it's more full and intentional because you've done the work of writing the essay. But you're gonna restate your th thesis in a new way. You're going to summarize your key points and your key points are just the topics that you've addressed in each of your paragraphs. And so you can write a summary sentence or two where you talk about how you address those topics. And then you're going to end with a final thought or you're going to end with a call to action. So what should your paper, what should the people who read your paper, or who read your ideas do next? Um, you know, it, it's a great point of agency or, or it's a great um, moment for you as a writer because you have all this ethos, you have all this credibility that you've built by doing all this work and you get to then tell people what they should do next. Um, and I think that's a really important part of the writing process. All right, so again, this is the last part of your um, of your paper, of your, excuse me, of your rough draft. You're going to be submitting this, and I'll give you some instructions in the next clip on how you're going to do that. Thank you.